Hi everyone, it's Kat and welcome to my channel. So for today's video, I am just going to make a quick makeup tutorial that I did for this whole look. So I did a poll on my IG story on the previous makeup look that ginawa ko, which is Pinos cause a profile picture, well, most likely sa lahat ng social media accounts ko, which is this one. Yes, that one. So, yeah. And... I'm very happy that 92% said yes. Aww. So, that's why I made this makeup tutorial for you guys. Aww. It made me so happy. So, if you guys want to know how I did this look, yeah, just keep on watching. So first things first guys, we have to wash our face first just to make sure that our face is clean before applying or putting makeup. And of course, after that, we have to make sure that our face is dry before applying makeup. So dahil wala naman akong primer or moisturizer, so sisimulan ko na sa foundation. Using my Maybelline's Fit Me foundation in the shade 220, which is natural beige, I will just apply it all over my all over all over my face and blend it with a beauty blender. So next is concealing using my Babylon's Fit Me Concealer in the shade 25 which is medium moyen. I'll just apply it under my eyes and on my T-zone area and blend it of course using the same beauty blender. Now that we're done with the concealing, it's time to contour using my BYS contour stick in the shade number 2. I will just contour my cheeks, forehead, jaw, and of course my tear nose. And of course blend it with a different beauty blender. So talagang medyo matagal talaga yung pagblend dito guys because you have to blend it very well because we don't want harsh lines, right?
Now that I am done with the foundation, concealer, and contour, using Nichido's final powder in Ivory Glow, I will bake my face and use a different beauty blender to apply the powder. So while I am baking my face, I will start doing my eyebrows and my eye makeup. If you notice, my eyebrows are very bushy, that's because I am growing them. I am using the same eyebrow product, which is Michido's Eyebrow Pencil in Medium Brown. Just following the shape of my bushy eyebrows, filling the middle part and tail, and blend it. So I also have a separate eyebrow tutorial. If you want to watch it, I will put the link in the description box. Now that I am done with my eyebrows, I will now do my eye makeup. I started by applying Avon's Ideal Oil Control Press Powder in the color OP101 which is neutral just to set the concealer on my eyelids. For the transition color, I used the contour powder in my LA Colors 3D Blush Contour Kit in CBL804 which is the Honey Bun Kit. Since this is a sweet glam look, I decided to use the Sandberry Blush On of Elizabeth Arden's palette. Well, that is because I don't own any pink eyeshadows. And using this bigger brush, I will just blend, 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 blend. Still using the same palette, I will use the eyeshadow called Wine to add some depth and a little drama. Using the LOL Glitter Eye Cream, I will use the lightest shade of pink and just apply it on the inner and center part of the eyelid. So like the usual, I am doing my winged eyeliner using my Fashion 21 Deep Liner in color black. And of course, I make a point be complete without falsies. Using my Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara, I will just apply it on my natural and fake lashes to combine them and to make my lashes look thicker and longer. Using a bigger brush and the Avon Press Powder, I will now brush off the excess powder from baking and just start applying powder all over my face to set it. With my 
my BYS contour and highlighting kit in the 02 Goddess palette, I used the darker contour color and an ugly brush, and making sure to tap up the excess powder. And start contouring my cheeks, forehead, jaw, and of course, my nose. Using the same kit, I will now use the bronzer to bronze my face with the same areas I contoured. I will now highlight the high points or areas of my face, which is my imaginary cheekbones, brow bones, nose, cupid's bow, chin, and of course my forehead. And again with the Elizabeth Arden palette, I will use the same colors I used on my eyeshadow and just apply it on the outer corner below my lower lash line to complete my eye makeup. Using the same highlight powder I used on my face, I will apply it on the inner corner or the teardrop area of my eye. Am I right? Well, just to add more drama. For my lips, I use Maybelline's Vivid Matte Liquid in M8012 just for a young and sweet look. And I guess we're done with our makeup. So yeah, that will be all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed filming and editing it. Lol. So if you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more of me. So yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned on my next one. Bye.